All right. In the last video, we have seen about scenario parameter, right? Okay. So let us continue the reporting part, right? So in the HTML report, we did not add these details, right? Let's try adding that. Okay. So now we have seen about the scenario, right? So you, it will come up with the some, you know, properties, okay, where you can get the relevant information, maybe uh, result and maybe uh, step level information, scenario level information, right? The part of the file, everything you will get it. Now, we'll try to add this information to the HTML report, to the HTML report. How can we do that? Okay, it is simple. We have one more keyword, this keyword. Okay, so this keyword will help us in three things. One is attach, second one is log, third one is a parameter. We will discuss one by one. First, we are going to discuss, we are going to discuss the log method. What it does is this particular log will add the custom log to the HTML report. You can see it is expecting the string, right? So what we can do, we will remove console log and we will simply add this dot log. We will simply add this dot log. Now the information whatever we return to the console now it will be going to where html report okay so let's remove this replace all the console logs with the this dot log okay so we are good we are good over here okay so now Okay, this is at the hooks level, we got the access and we are writing it. And how about the spec pages? Yesterday we have seen we do not have access to the scenario parameter over here, right? So is it possible through anywhere here? I think you can access this keyword here. But you can access this keyword. You can write anything, for example, uh this is a start of start of user is on login page login page step any custom log any custom log you can do it for example if this is successfully is done you can say this dot log this dot log login is successful login is successful like that you can write every information using this keyword you can see this dot log logout is successful logout is successful like this you can write the custom messages from the spec level using this keyword using this keyword as i said earlier it will give us few more things one is a parameters one is attached right we will see about those things as well okay so let's try to add the information here also right so here we can simply say this dot log logout is done now let's try to run the program and see what is happening and remember in the base page level in the base page or home page levels there are so many um logs there may be a chance that we have to write it okay imagine our console log what we are printing on the console click down this click on that particular object this has to be also moved how can we do that because this particular this can be accessed this keyword can only be accessed within this context level only you cannot access this particular context any other way any other places that means you have to pass this context to to each and every page object we will see that now and let's try running it first if everything is good we will continue further npm test okay what is the error invert browser type okay is good but we have to pass hyphen hyphen env equal to qa 
we can make it default also we'll try to fix that issue so we are not bothered about application this will continue to execute in the same fashion okay so here you can see enter this value entered clicked on login button logout link okay everything is being added over here second scenario is running it is done so now go to your report section open the html report okay open this you are able to see attached text remember by default by default this log will attach the things using this text plain format okay so you can see now this is functionality this functionality is started before the scenario user is on this particular step is started and you can see this is a step that is started login is successful and the same thing every in detail information is being logged now right you can see for every step even though for this one you could see all those details over here status is passed right this it has ended it has ended the execution over here for this step every information it has been logged now how easy it is we didn't do anything much simply we used only console log replaced with this dot log this is the context that has been given by Cucumber for us, which will make our life easier. Now everything is good. Okay, from the base page, we are able to uh, log the things, right? From the base page, sorry, from the hooks point of view, we are adding it very good. From the page point of view, also we are we are able to add very good. How about the pages? In the page, how can I access? Can I access this page? Can I say this something? No, you cannot use this right and make sure you you understand the concept of this keyword in javascript or typescript it has most of the people confuses the this keyword it has basically it is a context level if you are applying in the object if you are applying in the method this will vary okay so this keyword here is given by the cucumber and the same thing whatever you are using this is related to this particular class not the cucumber one okay but how can we pass this information this keyword particular this keyword given by the cucumber to the pages so that everybody can add the logs now if i say this okay and put the cursor over here it is saying expected one argument but two because because this particular constructor is expect, expecting is only the expected is only the one parameter okay so now can i pass this dot log directly you can pass this as well complete construct context only you can pass but time being i'm just passing only the log of which type i create log right just copy this go inside of this login page i will add one more this is input from input from cucumber right now this log is ready can i add the same thing can i add the same thing to the parent class as well so that everybody can use it yes we can do that right so go over here simply say comma this one. now what i will do observe here protected log of type i create log so what i'm going to do this dot log okay this dot log equal to log now you can replace every console log with this dot log you can see this dot log how you, how easy it is we are just passing the parameter we are just passing the parameter of course we will also be getting the things from the other pages spec files what we can do this dot log this dot log go to your login page this is done right i hope you are able to follow up with me what we are doing is in the spec files in the hook file we can say we have removed console log we have added this keyword the reason being is kumbar will give you this context 
so that you can add your customized logs to the HTML report. Along with it, you have two more. One is attached, one is a parameter that we will see in the further videos. How we can share the context between the pages using parameters. How we can attach the screenshots to the HTML report. Not only screenshot, you can embed any of the existing files. Maybe, uh, maybe JSON file, maybe PNG file, JP, any file you can add it. That we will see. But this time we are discussing about the logs. Simply attaching the plain text to the HTML report. So which method we have? This dot log. Okay, this is clear here. No problem. Go to your spec file. Go to your spec file. Okay. What happened over here? Now, this also we can use at the spec levels. But we are using page object model. That means this particular context may not be available in this particular class. No. So that is the reason you can pass the entire context or to begin with, at least we send the log. Right? So definitely we have to receive that. Yes, we have to receive it. As we are using the base page concept, we don't need to use the things in the subclasses. Only parent class is enough so that every class can start using of it. This is one. And how about the home page? We, we, have, we also have to do from here also, right? Okay. See here, this dot log, this dot log. Okay. Now definitely I have to go to the home page and I have to change my structure. Right. So log is of type, which type? Sorry. Let me copy paste this. Control Z. Go to here and keep your cursor over here. I create log. Which type is this? I create log. Sorry, I'm not able to copy properly. Keep the cursor over here. Copy and paste it over here. Okay, definitely this will give you an error. That's fine. Okay, so now I will also send this particular one. Right? So now in every page, I am saying that, okay, I will be initializing through base page and I can make use of it. Now in the page level also, in the page level also, you can write your own customized logs. For example, login page. But in this page, okay, in this page, you can say this dot log, okay, and we can say I am able to, I am able to log in. And generally we don't write like this, but I'm just showing an examples. The ultimate goal is how we can add our own customizer logs to the HTML report. Right? Do we need to say, okay, click down this, click down that? No need to worry about because in the base page level also, we have changed it from console log to this log, this that log. And you see the report now, how beautiful it be, how beautiful it will come. Now it is being executed. Now every detail instead of console, we are writing to the HTML report. Now let's see. Right, so we are not bothered about the application. <clears throat> anyway, it has been tested so many times. Now nothing is coming because we have stopped the console logs, right? So that is the reason. So only dot green color pass F is a fail. Okay, now two scenarios should be successful. We are good. Okay, so now refresh your uh, file. Okay, so you open here. You can see enter this value here. Observe here, entered value on the email field, right? Entered in the password field. Click down login button. Right, logout is successful. And uh, every detail, in detail, whatever we are printing on the console, now we have started writing on where? Logs, to the HTML logs. Right? How easy it is. We don't need to worry about initializing all those things. Nothing is worry about. Nothing, you know, nothing you need to worry about. So we have not failed any test case so far. We can do that as well. The next video. And we can see the other concepts apart apart from log, this dot log. We are discussed only this dot log in the entire uh, in the entire video. We are discussing about only this dot log. But we have also have other options. We have parameter options where I will show you in the separate video and in next video I'm going to show you the attach concept.
how we can attach some screenshot, how we can uh, attach uh, plain JSON files, and how we can display, how we can embed it into the existing HTML report. Okay. And one more thing, finally, this report is okay, but we can write even better we can get the even better HTML reports by using existing HTML libraries of NPG uh, from NPM modules. Okay, I will show you one module where you can generate the HTML report with all the graphs and all, which is easy to use. You don't need to embed anything. Everything is done. You need only one file and you need to generate that from your, from your, this particular JSON file. That will be taken care by the library. We don't worry about it. Okay, so we are going to do in the upcoming sessions. Thanks for watching. See you in the next lecture.